Hello. So you've done your paper collage. Now I would like you to use to use your poly pocket that you should have inside your inside your sketchbooks uh, to put all of these pieces in to keep those for templates. You can draw around them onto your felt um, and then cut them out to be able to make your felt collage. Now, once you've finished doing that, what I would like you to do is I would like you to um, glue them down. So you've got your own little collage and you've got a before and after, so we know what you're trying to achieve. So obviously, Pritt stick them down. You should have Pritt sticks in your trays. Don't need a lot of glue for this. P. A. Now, when you have cut out all your felt, and you've, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to use a range of different stitches. And um, I would like you in biro or black colouring pencil to mark the stitches that you want to use on here. So at the moment, I am marking a back stitch. So around the outside of my letters, if I do a back stitch, then that's going to make that stand out. Just like that. If I have time, I'd like to do it in the middle as well. And then um, we could also mark out some different embroidery stitches. Some of these you might have practiced in textiles last year. So I think it might be nice to do um, you might do just a running stitch around the outside of the explosion. You've got your back stitch for your letters. You could have a cross stitch for some spots, so like that. So you know that they use different things in pop-up. And then that this ends up being the design or plan for your sample, okay? And then you can glue that into your sketchbook. Okay, so I will look forward to seeing your design and how that turns into your fabric sample. Okay, thank you.